Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you how to create a very simple application which allows you to click this button and you have to get more than half of the seconds that you have. If you get more, so for example, we started with 50 as a timer, then that means we will have to get over 25 in order to win. As you can see, I did get over 25 and I did win. And we're able to go to a next level where it will be quicker and harder, or we can simply reset and start again from scratch. As you can see, if I leave it as 10, obviously 10 is not half of the timer, it will say you lost and we get the option to try again or go to the next level. In this episode, you should learn how to use timers, how to present alerts, how to press on buttons, and also how to customize your UI. If this is something that you're willing to watch, please make sure you click a subscribe, you click a like button, and also leave any feedback if you have any. Thank you and let's get started. Welcome back guys, so as you can see I have my Xcode Swift UI project open here and the only thing I have is just a hello world. Um, I also have on the right side here the simulator with our project just so that we can have something to refer to. So the first thing I'll do is obviously remove as usual the text hello world, I'll add a Z stack and what I'm going to do is I'll be creating that purple background that you're seeing. To do that all we need to do is simply type in color dot purple dot ignore safe area inside of our bracket we're going to say dot all. After that as you can see we have a couple of other um, uh, views here and to stack them on top of each other we're going to use a v-stack. Oops sorry that was a z-stack. A v-stack and we're going to start with our title. Obviously, this is simply just text. Inside of here, we are going to say press the button. We're going to give it a large title font. So I'm going to type in font dot large title. Let's go ahead and give it a bold font as well. For the color, as you can see, it's white. So we say foreground color and I'm going to type in color dot white. Um, something else we can do is we can probably minimize the text a little bit just so that we have more real estate to work with. As you can see underneath our title we have the number of seconds or the timer that we will be using. So let's go ahead and put text. For now let's just keep it as a zero. For the font this is I think it was title and that's everything. Uh, oh yep, yeah, foreground color was color dot white beautiful so after that if let me just click on reset you can see that we have a button here but you can see that we have a huge space between it in order to have that same formation what we can do is we can add a button just as we usually would and actually the easiest way or the quickest way that i like adding a button is opening my canvas clicking on this dragging a button and then closing canvas i know you should probably memorize this but anyway for the content, we're going to be putting a text. And for here, again, for now, let's just leave it as zero. For the action, open and close a bracket just like this. Nice. Now, again, like I mentioned, we need to have that space between our top timer and our button. So we'll simply come over here and we will use a spacer. We'll also follow underneath the button with another spacer. Otherwise, our button would have been glued to the button. Uh, to the bottom. <laughs> um, now what we can do is we can also add a padding to our VStack. So let's go ahead and press on uh, type in padding. And after that we can actually start creating our objects that will be presented inside of our text when it comes to the timer and also the button. The first thing we'll need to go do is go over here and we're going to start creating some states. So I'm going to type in at state. We are first going to obviously use or start using the timer. And I'll call it time and this will be of type timer dot publish. Now as you can see it's very simple, it's very basic. Here it's asking every on in. So for every I uh, will leave it as 0.1. For on this will be main and for run it will be dot common. After that we can simply say dot auto connect. After that we're going to create another object. And it's going to, we're going to call it count, and that will actually be the timer that you're seeing over here. So as you can see, the first level is obviously going to start at 50. And what we're going to be after is we're going to create another object called level. And we will also start that at 50. And basically, this will be 
how we know which level we're in so whether we're doing 50 or we're in the next level which is 60 or 70 or whatever so this is just not going to be changing during the level while this will change during the level what we will do after is we're going to create a variable for the number of times that button was pressed and obviously we're going to start at zero every single time we click on the button we're going to increase this by one let's go ahead and create all the variables even if we're not going to use the view now for example let's create show alert and we will use this variable here the boolean to show to present the alert finally we have the last thing and that is the title of our alert as you can see we're using the same alert whether you lost or you are a winner we're going to use it and we're going to be changing this depending on whether the person lost or won obviously over here we can now remove that zero instead we will be passing count so let's go ahead and place count and we have two exclamation marks here i'm simply going to put three right next to it beautiful for the text over here we are going to replace it by button p so that's the number of times that a button was pressed now we obviously want to make it so that it's that red color and it's a circle so let's go ahead and see how we can do that the first thing i'm going to do is obviously get rid of the clear stuff foreground color we want it to be the white for the title we want it to be a large title so i'm going to say font dot large title and let's see what what else was there so we have the white we have the large title what we then need to do is give it a red background but before we do that we need to add a frame in that frame we're going to have a width and a height that width will be 150 height will be 150 alignment we can remove it or we can just put it as center now that we've made a frame we can actually start by creating the background so i will simply go and type in background and it will be color dot red nice now if we run this we will have the button and it will be red but we want it to be in that circular shape to do that we're going to say clip and we're going to go to the shape and i'm going to say circle and now if we run this it will actually look exactly the same as this button obviously now we want to create the action that will allow us to press on it and add so let's start by doing that we're going to be creating three functions which is adding so let's go ahead and say add press and all we're going to be doing here is that we're going to increase button p by one so i'll type in button p plus or equal to one and we're gonna come over here and we'll say button p oh, sorry we're going to type in add press nice after that we're going to create another function and that will be the function uh, responsible for checking if we lost or won so let's go ahead and type in fun and we're going to say minus sum now what we are going to do here is we're first going to check if our count is less than zero yeah, sorry if our count is not less than zero what we are going to do is that we're going to decrease the count by one so as long as we're higher than zero Let's go ahead and reduce this by 50, uh, sorry, by one. Else, so now if we do actually re reach zero, we need to check for two things. First, we need to check if the number of presses is higher than the, is higher than half of the timing. So if we have, if we're on level 50 and we are on 25, then we've won, else we lost. So now that we actually reached zero and the game ended we are going to create another if statement we're going to say if and it will say if button p so if the number of presses are higher than level divided by two so if they're higher than level again this does not change so 50 uh, is divided by two so if our presses is more than half of the timing we are going to first of all set the title as you are was you one well, let's just keep it as you want for now and we are going to change the show alert and to true so a we're going to change the title we're going to make it you one and we're going to show the alert we're going to say that it's true once it's true it will show up and we're going to set up our alert soon great else so now if 
we actually didn't win if we are still if it was 50 and we are on 19 or anything like that first of all we're obviously going to change the title to you lost and we are also going to obviously show the alert we have one last function and that will be responsible for taking us to the next level or resetting the level so let's go, go ahead and create them we're going to say funk reset inside our reset we're going to actually be doing three things a we're going to set the count to zero so we're going to start uh sorry the count back to 50 and our button is going to be going back to zero and show alert we are going to change that to off so now everything is back to normal we don't have any presses of the button and our count is back to 50 we're starting the game completely we're going to now create another function and that will be next level which will take us to the next level and basically what that will do is it will increase the time that we have so it's harder to actually pass the half so we're gonna go ahead and first of all let's put button to zero we're going to change the level by 10 so we're going to add 10 we're then going to set count to level and we're then going to again show alert is going to be equal to false beautiful so now actually you let's use all the three functions we already um are using that one so every single time the button is pressed we are calling this function but let's call this minus num every single 0.1 of a second so how we do that we can simply go on the um, here where the z stack is and we can say on receive now for the publisher we're obviously going to be using time we can close the bracket and we can come over here and we're going to open another bracket just like this and we can remove that one from over here and then all we're going to be doing is we're going to be calling minus num now before because i actually stopped using um uh, we stopped working on the UI we can go ahead and expand this just so that we can have more space to work with now This is being called every 0.1 seconds and all this is being checked Now the last thing that we need to do is create our alert now in the meantime I will run this just so that we can see how it is see if everything else is working and then we work on our UI alert Okay, so as you can see we do have the button it's working and let me just open this app again so that we can reset the timer as you can see the timer is working fine and the button is working fine but if we reach zero nothing is going to happen so let's go ahead and create the alert for that which that little pop-up that tells you whether you won or you lost now luckily we've created all the code for it now we actually need to create the ui for it so i'm gonna go ahead and right after our button what i'm going to be creating is an alert i'm going to keep it and i'll make it from scratch Inside of here, we're going to say is presented. For the is presented, we're obviously going to be using the show alert, and we're, I'm going to use a dollar sign for binding. And for our content, what we need to do is we need to, first of all, close the bracket like this, and we can actually start doing it from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and open a zigzag bracket like this. I will, we will be calling alert. I will, I will need a title, a message, a primary, and a secondary button, just like this. Now, for the title, we are going to type in text and then we are going to be passing our title and if you remember over here we are checking whether we won or lost and we're going to be changing it to you won or you lost so the alert will change from whether we won or lost and we don't need to actually do that for the message we can just keep the message generic so we can simply say reset or move to next level now yes this is a little bit different to that actual uh, text that we had but still does the exact same thing now for the primary button we are going to be having dot default and i'm going to go ahead and select the label and the action one and we can minimize a little bit for the title we are going to say text and instead of here i'll say reset and for the action we can remove this, we can open and close a zigzag bracket, and we're obviously going to be calling reset. So let's go ahead and type in reset. Same thing for our secondary button. We are going to be picking the default. With the label, it's going to be text, and it will simply be 
Next. Level. Let's put an exclamation mark. For action, we're going to open and close the bracket and I will type in next. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and run this and see how our final product looks like. Okay, wonderful. So as you can see, we have the app here working and if I try and get... Okay, so I got 24 and as you can see, it does calculate it properly. It says you lost, reset or move to next level. If I click on reset, we can start from the beginning and let's go ahead and try and actually get more than 25 and I got 29 and as you can see, it does say you won. Let's go ahead and try and go to the next level. We, uh, we started from 60 and if I go ahead and let's just get leave it at 17, it will obviously show that I have lost. As you can see, we did create this very simple game. It's fun, it's very simple, but it is a little bit challenging and you did learn so many components of Swift UI. If you enjoyed building this application with me, please make sure you click on the subscribe button, make sure you like this video and leave a feedback on how I can improve next time. Thank you and have a good day.